It is cold out, but at least we have some sun. We did get a little bit more snow, but at least there's sun. I'm happy for the sun. Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aretha, and I eat low carb, high fat, and keto. So, today I'm actually going to be starting off with some green juice. And before I forget everything here, I can show you my blood sugar numbers. And here it is right here. So instead of saying, oh, I'm going to drink this coffee and get back to you, I'm going to actually drink the green juice and get back to you. And we are going to do some cooking. I will see you in a minute. Okay, I am back. And... I am going to show you guys how I make my bread slash little rolls and all of that. Um, I know someone said before on a previous video they would like to see how I make it. So I'm going to go over a little tutorial over it on how I do this. And I'm going to try to get exact measurements. Um, I'm not really good at that, but we're going to go for it. So I'm going to tell you what we're going to need for the bread. I'm going to use hemp hearts. And the only reason I'm using hemp parts is because I stopped using almond flour and coconut flours a while back. And I also stopped, you know, with the cheese. So the, um, the base will be mostly hemp parts. Some baking powder. About three tablespoons of butter. egg white. I have an egg just in case we need it, but we might not. Some whey protein, but feel free to use any type of protein you want that's unflavored. Some psyllium husk powder. Collagen. and apple cider vinegar. So what I'm going to start off with is the hemp hearts and I'm going to measure out one cup. Next up will be the whey protein and this comes with its own little scooper. So what I am going to do with the scooper is about Yay big. I'm going to measure out two of these. So the next thing up will be the psyllium husk powder and it will be approximately six tablespoons. Next up will be some baking powder. I will use half a tablespoon. Next up is the collagen powder. It has its own little scooper also, but I'm not going to use that. I will be using one third cup. I have all the dry ingredients in here, so what I'm going to do next is add a dash of salt. And here's my salt shaker. I'm just going to like that just a little bit and combine everything again. Now it's time for my liquid ingredients. I have the melted butter. To this melted butter I'm going to add half a cup of warm water and one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Okay, I have my cup with the butter and the water and the apple cider vinegar. I'm going to pour it into my bowl and get that kind of mixed together. Okay, I'm going to mix. 
mix all of this together. Okay, it is pretty well combined. Now it's time for me to add the egg whites. And I'm gonna give it a good stir. So that was about a little more than one third cup of egg white. And this is what it's looking like. So what I'm gonna do right now is let this rest for a minute and put a towel over it and give it about 10 or 15 minutes. Then we'll be ready to um, do step number two. While we're letting the bread kind of sit for a minute, let's talk about some of the food we have. And we have some bacon, and under this paper towel is more bacon. We have a wonderful hamburger casserole. And um, I've made this before, and I went over a tutorial about it, and it is full of cheese, so obviously I will not be partaking in any of it. But it's basically ground beef, but this time there's I made the mixture like ground beef and some ground turkey ketchup, um, a little bit of mayonnaise, some pickle relish, and the cheese. So that is the hamburger casserole. And next up is an egg dish. Basically what this is, is eggs and ground turkey. I cut up um, one fourth cup of onions and two um, garlic cloves. And I just literally seasoned it um, with whatever seasonings. I think I chose um, bacon salt, black pepper, a lot of turmeric, and some nutritional yeast. And I also cooked some chicken breast. I took um, about three chicken breasts, cut it up very small, seasoned it with some salt and pepper and garlic, and put it in the oven. So this will be good for making some nice salads. Okay, this is what it looks like after sitting for about 15 minutes or so. What I'm gonna do is scoop this out onto a baking sheet and I will show you that product when I'm done. Okay, this is what the breads look like after I rolled them. I did roll some in some weird shape, so we're gonna put this in the oven 315 and let it cook low and slow. While our bread is cooking, I am going to actually have a cup of coffee, just regular coffee. And let me show you. I still have a little bit of the blueberry pound cake left, so I'm gonna have a slice of that and some coffee. And we'll, um, I will get back to you later once the bread is done and I will show you the final product. Okay, here is the bread. It's done. Let's see, show you. There we go with the bread. So I will be back and we'll talk about, you know, some of the meals I'm gonna be eating for today. Okay, everyone. This is going to be my final meal. It is a salad with chicken and um, bacon and a little bit of onion and garlic. So that's gonna be about almost wrapping up everything. So the last thing will be is, I will go over some of my readings from the mirror work. Um, I did get comments that people would like to hear see more of it so I will keep it very brief and short 
So I'll be right back with it. Okay, again, the name of the book, Mirror Work, and it's by Louise Hay, and it's a really, really good book. So I am on day seven, and what day seven is kind of a wrap-up for the whole week. And I'm just going to read a very small passage. Um, and it is from page 54. And it says, Each day that you practice your mirror work, you may fall in love with yourself a little bit more. The best way to love yourself is to release all the junk from your past, the self-judgment, the old stories that hold you back, so you can live in the present moment. We have all gotten into the habit of believing negative statements we have heard since childhood. So, how many of us have heard negative statements about ourselves when we were children and hold on to all those negative things and then as we get older you start hearing more negative things and it becomes toxic and I remember a couple of these passages talked about when you don't love yourself the things that you do like the getting into the bad relationships the self-harm and you know eating things that aren't good for you and it talked about that you know more than once so this is really a good book to dive into, um, starting with, you know, that self-love. And the reason it's called mirror work is because you stand in front of a mirror or you get out your mirror out of your purse or something, a little small one, and you actually have conversations with yourself. And in the beginning, it was very weird for me, kind of strange, because the first one was talking about loving yourself. You're standing in a mirror and saying, I love you. And it's just, it, for me, it felt very weird, but now... As the days have gone on, it's kind of like, yeah, I do love myself. It's not weird to stand in front of the mirror and say all of that. So let me know down below, the comments below, if you would like for me to continue reading little bitty parts out of it. It'd be, never be nothing really long. So I do want to thank you guys for joining me on my journey. Please don't forget to like subscribe and comment below and I will be back for another full day of eating. Thank you guys so much.